Thank you, Madam Speaker. Order. The first priority we all share is to ensure that Manitobans are safe and healthy in this pandemic. Almost every other province has declared a state of emergency, and most are reworking their budgets as we speak. I table the actions of other provinces to date. Unless the budget in Manitoba has changed in the last week, it is almost certainly obsolete. How long will Manitobans have to wait for this government to introduce an economic update, as many other provinces had, with new health funding dedicated to protecting vulnerable populations, frontline workers, seniors in care homes, and more? The Honourable First Minister. Madam Speaker, it seems in the past week that the top priority, the member for St. Boniface, is changing the Liberal leadership review rules so two thirds of people have to oppose his leadership in order for him to be replaced. The fact of the matter is, Madam Speaker, that we're addressing the issues that have arisen as a consequence order. of COVID 19, order. not from a reactive standpoint, but from a proactive standpoint. Yeah. Order. The Honourable Member for St. Boniface on Madam a supplementary Speaker, question. I, I, uh, the Canadian press has retracted that story as it was inaccurate. Madam Speaker, we all know the public health measures being introduced to fight COVID-19 are necessary. We also know that economic disruptions are going Order. to be colossal. Across Canada, businesses are shutting down and laying off employees. So long as pandemic measures are in place, some people will not be able to work. Some businesses will not be able to operate. They will Order. be unable to pay their bills in a matter of weeks, if not days. When businesses have no revenue and people have no income, a tax cut is a percentage of zero. Will this government consider providing support to workers, acting as a buyer of last resort for businesses, and working with the federal government to introduce Mincom or a job guarantee to ensure Manitobans can pay the bills? The Honourable First Minister. The member opposite and his party have been advocating for tax hikes ever since the member became leader. Now he's an expert on tax cuts. I don't think it's going to work, Madam Speaker. The fact is we're putting more money on the kitchen tables of Manitobans, right. and the Liberal Party, or what remains of it, is opposed to that. So, Madam Speaker, I think the key word here is resiliency. Manitobans are more resilient because we're leaving more money they work so hard to get right. with them to strength, help them strengthen their financial uh, priorities and goals. We're doing other initiatives as well. But, Madam Speaker, the member seems to believe that simply one size fits all and that if we just raise the taxes on these very people, they'll become healthier and happier. He is wrong, Madam Speaker. 